Hi, welcome to our Lenten devotional series based on the book On Calvary's Hill by Max Licato. Today is Tuesday, February 23rd, and I'd like to invite you to hear this reading. We begin first with a verse from the book of John. The evening meal was being served, and the devil had already prompted Judas Iscariot, son of Simon, to betray Jesus. He got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. It had been a long day. Jerusalem is packed with Passover guests, most of whom clamor for a glimpse of the teacher. The spring sun is warm, the streets are dry, and the disciples are a long way from home. A splash of cool water would be refreshing. The disciples enter the room one by one and take their place around the table. On the wall hangs a towel and on the floor sits a pitcher and a basin. Any one of the disciples could volunteer for the job, but no one does. After a few moments, Jesus stands, removes his outer garment. He wraps a servant's girdle around his waist, takes up the basin, and kneels before one of the disciples. He unlaces his sandal and gently lifts the foot, places it in the basin, and covers it with the water and begins to bathe it. One grimy foot after another, Jesus works his way down the row. In Jesus' day, the washing of the feet was a task reserved not just for servants, but the lowest of servants. In this case, the one with the towel and the basin is the king of the universe. Hands that shape the stars now wash away filth. Fingers that formed mountains now massage toes. And the one before whom all nations will one day kneel now kneels before his disciples. Hours before his own death, Jesus' concern is singular. He wants his disciples to know how much he loves them. You can be sure Jesus knows the future of these feet he's washing. These feet will dash for cover at the flash of a Roman sword. Only one pair of feet won't abandon him in the garden. Jesus will abandon him that very night at the table. What a passionate moment when Jesus suddenly lifts the feet of his betrayer and washes them in the basin. Jesus knows what these men are about to do. By morning, they will bury their heads in shame and look down at their feet in disgust. And when they do, he wants them to remember how his knees knelt before them and washed their feet. He forgave their sin before they even committed it. He offered mercy before they even sought it. Did you hear that? He forgave their sin before they even committed it. He offered mercy before they even sought it. Let us pray. King of the universe, I'd like to think I would have washed your feet and done better than the other disciples. But I know that's not true. 
thank you for loving me and washing my feet and offering me mercy when I deserve none. In Jesus' name, amen. May you be blessed this day.